Hey, on this video I'm going to be talking about smoke alarms and these are Wi-Fi enabled smoke alarms. Xsense has sent two of these units to me to test them out even though this video might look like sponsored and I got these to keep. On this video I'm going to be going through step by step the goods, the bads, the pros and the cons about these units just like I would be buying these for myself. So we're going to go through the steps like how to install them physically how to set them up with your phone. These units work on their own. They don't need any base station whatsoever. So first thing you wanna know is how to install them. So straightforward, you take off the base station, the screws are included. All you need to do is screw them somewhere to the wall or the ceiling. These units come with one year warranty and uh, they're supposed to last 10 years. That's when they suggest you to replace the entire unit with a new one. It comes with a battery included already, so you don't need to think about it. So what you need to do first is remove this tag and this will activate this smoke alarm. It comes with quite a loudspeaker, 85 decibels if you want to be precise. And it connects through your Wi-Fi through a 2.4 gigahertz band. So the standard it supports is IEEE 802.11. That's B, G and N bands you can connect it to. So basically any router you find nowadays. It's old standard, but it, it saves the energy, I believe, so it can last longer using the same battery. So you can peel this thing off and you'll see that you get a display showing you uh, what's the battery status. Is the battery full? What's um, PPM? What's CO? So you have here a little LED indicator so you have three options, green is power, red is alarm, yellow is something faulty. And that's the buzzer, which is quite loud. And then you obviously get a test or silencing button here. But they say you can also silence it from your phone. But if you don't have phone nearby, you can just use this button to silence the alarm. So next step, we will need to download an app. They also have a QR code, which we can use to scan to go directly to an app store and download a um, app for this uh, device. Let's have a look how do we add these things to an app. So this is how you find an app. It's called Xsense. Enable notifications and most importantly critical notifications so you can get actual alarm ringing on your phone if it's uh, needed. Then you can create a location and name for the alarm. Choose uh, the model you have bought after naming and choosing a location or creating a new location you can actually install it if you haven't press for five seconds the test button this will allow you to link this alarm to your app so it will be discovered enable bluetooth so it can see that alarm type in the password for your wi-fi and it will finish the setup and it's ready to use now you can also add another alarm if you have one exactly the same way and uh, it's all done for you. You can go through um, events, what has happened. You can enable specific notifications that you want to be alerted about or disable uh, things that you don't want to be alerted, like tests, for example. And then you can also add some accessories if you want. I didn't have a chance to get any steak to cook, so I'm just going to go with basic taste testing, like a flame. I'm going to do a test with a wape and with a heated tobacco. Let's do the flame test first. So flame does nothing. Let's try waping. There you have, there's a notification on my phone about uh, the alarm and you can see the logs. This time we will test our heated tobacco vapor. And it works. I don't know how to stop it. You press. So that's the testing mode. If you press once, it goes through the testing cycle and says pass if it's all good to go. Let's try and link it to my uh, smart home. So Apple, 
home kit is not gonna work we tried it but then Google was the same no luck adding it to uh, my Google home so maybe you'll need a different uh, model for doing this okay let's test out the situation where there is a gas leak for example obviously we're not gonna do that on the hob on the kitchen so we're gonna try and uh, replicate that sort of environment using a plastic bag and some lighters so This is not detecting gas. It's not advertised to detect the gas. So, we will need CO2. We need to generate some CO2. How do we do that? We could burn some candles. And there's also no luck with candles. The candles, unfortunately, do not generate enough CO levels to test this thing out. I think I'm struggling with this CO test. So let's um, use a very safe environment, like a pan and some paper. And burn that. Is this gonna generate any CO2 levels? Let's check. Is this gonna be enough for CO? Or is it gonna be smoke? This was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the security side of uh, things. So I logged into a um, Synology router, which is, gonna, which is actually logging all activity, what's going on. So you can see in past 24 hours, these two smoke alarms have uploaded 47 kilobytes just literally nothing so all it does is is pinging to their proxy server saying everything is okay and do not initiate any alarm do not send notification to the phone because everything is okay if something wasn't okay it that proxy server where it's uh, pinging to would send a notification uh, to your phone and you would get an alert saying there is smoke detected or co2 detected so let's have a look what exactly uh, where exactly this data is going to. So as we can see, the only server the data has been sent to is XSend server, which proves that this device is secure and it talks only to a single server. I have tested before in the past different devices like uh, IP players, IP TV devices and uh, Android TVs and you can see that in those devices data has been sent to multiple servers and all your privacy data has been shared with third parties this one the data goes only to their server and only for the only reason to trigger alarm to your mobile phone so you can see there's only one connection made to eu central 1x sense iot okay now we have uh, come to the end of this review and I'm just gonna go through pros and cons, what I like, what I didn't like. So the first positive thing about this thing is, it's very easy to set up. It comes with a base, it comes with the screws, it comes with everything. You literally just screw it to the wall or the ceiling and, and slot it into the place, that's all. And the alarm is already connected to your app. All you need to do is scan the little code in the uh, manual. It's gonna open up an app that you need. Press this for uh, four seconds to activate the discovery mode and you can link to your phone that's it and you're done and from that point on you can get notifications on your phone if there is any smoke or co uh, detected in the room i also like how quickly it can respond to a um, smoke it took me a couple of seconds uh, maybe 20 seconds for it to uh, ring my phone saying that there is smoke detected very sensitive very fast. The reason why I really like this solution is that you do not need a base station. It's a standalone unit. Once you install it, it has its own IP address, its own little brain inside, and you can communicate and do the job. You don't need to spend time setting up a base station, linking to a base station. It's very simple, standalone solution, and it just works. The other thing what I like this is very sensitive to modern world technology, like uh, vaping, for example. If you want to have a smoke-free home, this alarm will detect that. It will alert you if someone is trying to break the rules. 
now on slightly negative side, these standalone uh, smoke alarms cannot be uh, linked together, at least not this particular model. There is a model which comes with a base station. Since this is a standalone unit, it cannot be linked together with another one like this, which means if there is smoke detected on one uh, alarm, the other alarm will stay silent. But you will get a notification on your phone, so it might not be as important as you might think. But you can get a different model from the same brand, which comes with a base station, which actually can allow you to link together every single uh, unit of these smoke alarms. And then if a smoke is detected on one alarm, all alarms will go off. The other thing which I wanted to see, especially for IP based smoke alarm, was ability to link it to smart home, for example, Google, Alexa, or, or Apple HomeKit. There was no option to link this to my um, smart home. And the other thing which is uh, unique to this model is that you cannot do a test from your app. They have other models that come with a base station and you have ability on your phone to click a test button and all alarms will be tested from a click of a button. With these ones, you need to press a test button and it will individually test each alarm. But overall, it's a really good product. I really like it. If you want to make your home a little bit smarter, you can get a model with a base station, which will allow you to link certain sensors like um, humidity or water leaks, temperature sensors, smoke alarms on its own, temperature sensors or combination alarms. So I would certainly recommend this brand.